In this video, we'll be looking at an application problem that involves right triangles. The problem that we'll be doing, Marlin needs to find the height of a building. From a given point on the ground, she finds that the angle of elevation to the top of the building is 74.2 degrees. She then walks back 35 feet. From the second point, the angle of elevation to the top of the building is 51.8 degrees. Find the height of the building. Now before I draw my sketch, I want to make a note that um, I'm going to have two significant digits in my answer. All right, so here's the ground and here's the building. And we're putting Marla here. Uh, the angle of elevation to the top of the building. Now remember, angle of elevation starts from the horizontal and goes up. So this angle right here is 74.2 degrees. She then walks back 35 feet. And from the second point, the angle of elevation to the top of the building is 51.8 degrees. Uh, find the height of the building. Now it may help for us to split this uh, diagram into two triangles. We have our shorter one here. This side is H. And this angle is 74.2. And then we have our bigger one. And again, the height of the building is H. This angle is 51.8. And um, this segment of the base of this triangle is 35. So um, let's call this part of the base x. And we'll call that one x. And then this will be x plus 35. Right now I have uh, opposite and adjacent. So I can set up an equation. I'm going to need two equations since I have two unknowns. Um, with this first triangle, I can use tangent 74.2 is equal to opposite over adjacent. So h over x. Multiply both sides by x. And x times tangent 74.2 is equal to h. Now I've worked this a number of different ways, and I found that solving for x is the easiest. So let me divide both sides by tangent 74.2. So x is equal to h over tangent 74.2. Now save this for later. Now we can also use tangent on this triangle. Opposite is h, adjacent is x plus 35. So uh, Tangent 
of 51.8 is equal to h over plus 35. Multiply both sides by x plus 35. These will cancel. And uh, let's go ahead and distribute my tangent 51.8. So I have x tangent 51.8 plus 35 tangent 51.8 is equal to h. All right, now then I'm going to sub this expression in here in place of x. So that'll give me h over tangent 74.2 times the tangent of 51.8 plus 35 tangent 51.8 is equal to h. Now I just need to solve for h. Um, looks like I have an h in two places here. So I need to get them all on one side. When I multiply uh, these two factors together, I can um, separate my h away from the rest of the product. So it'll be tangent of 51.8 divided by tangent of 74.2. And that quotient then is multiplied by h. So let me go ahead and copy the rest of this here. And then um, to move this h term over to the other side, let's subtract So this term then cancels. And on the left, all I have is 35 tangent 51.8. On the right, I have two terms. They both have an h in them, so I'm going to factor h out. And I'm left with 1 in the first term, and then minus this quotient tangent 51.8 divided by tangent 74.2. And now to solve for h, I'm going to divide both sides by this coefficient of h. 1 minus tangent 51.8 over tangent 74.2, 1 minus tangent 51.8 over tangent 74.2. So cancel, and then I have all numbers here, so I can do this on my calculator and get a value for h. I need to make sure I'm in degrees. Now when I have a complex fraction like this, I need to put the numerator and the denominator in parentheses. So I'm going to open my parentheses. And 
and then I have 35 tangent 51.8 close up the argument on tangent and then close up the parentheses in the numerator divided by open parentheses in the denominator 1 minus tangent 51.8 close up the argument on tangent and then divided by tangent 74.2 close the argument on that tangent and close the parentheses in the denominator so it looks like h is 69.4512 but again, remember the problem we said two 